How's it going? We're jumping and testing out Above Snakes. Now, this game is currently available on Steam. If you want to check it out for yourself, there'll be a link in the description down below. It looked absolutely amazing. We got to test this out during the whole progression of this game. Saw brand new updates. It keeps on changing. And now in release, it's completely different again, which is really great. It keeps evolving and getting better. I can't wait to jump in and learn a little more. This game is a building game crafting game like no other it is really cool there is tiles and stuff you'll see what i'm talking about it is really amazing we do have to get some resources and do a whole bunch of goodies there's workbenches so if you guys like that you're going to enjoy this game quite a bit let's learn a little more about it and if you guys and girls like seeing brand new games please take time hit the like button if you're brand new please subscribe all the wonderful stuff live to hear feedback in the comment fields again check it out for yourself link in the description down below and thank you dev team for sending copies so i can showcase it to y'all it's fantastic so we can use a keyboard or actually controller which is fantastic and uh yeah it looks like we're gonna be able to move around here hopefully wasd there we go and of course day one hunter's rest perfect so it looks like we have ourselves a backpack Ah, yeah voice from the outside now we end up in a lumberjack settlement we're not saying a corpse creek currently uh he left she left her mother behind and it looks like are you awake yeah we're, we're awake jeez all right We'll pick our backpack and make sure that's good. Looks like something else over here, possibly. Your backpack. Open your backpack. You can access a backpack at any time. You can manage your inventory and craft items. Oh, that's cool. And current quests. And also, okay, require special crafting stations nearby to be craftable. Perfecto. What's this thing? Oh, there's some books and stuff in here. All right, well, we'll take those. Let's open up our backpack currently and see what we got ourselves. Uh, consumables, resources. All right, separates them all up. Perfect. And we also have ourselves here crafting currently tannery, other things. These are all kind of locked in. And again, it also needs a workstation nearby for those ones. So handcrafting locked in, I guess, as we progress in the story, we're going to learn a little more about this. Craft and upgrades shelter perks. Ooh. Increases your workbench levels. Shelter unlocks more perks. Oh, nice. And we also have all our stuff here too, including what we're wearing and stuff. So that's fantastic. And axe. It looks like we might have some skills we can bring up on here. We have gear level one currently. And our quest log. Well, we're going to learn that right now because we're going to be heading out towards there. We got ourselves a couple beds and stuff. But yeah, the story looked really cool. Oh, that's not good. Camera controls Q and E. Okay. Rotate sometimes things. Be hard to see from a certain angles perfect gotcha so we can rotate from here tie a bit and go talk to uh, joanne all right it was pretty lengthy so yeah asteroid hit her house and it looks like now we need to help her out maybe build a new one and we're gonna need ourselves an axe so gather branches from pine trees all right and then open up your backpack craft a primitive axe gotcha roger that so this is a pine tree we're gonna do that hold down f perfect got blueprint open up I remember the best thing to do when I was playing this last time, when you go and search these things out, you best search them out before knocking them down. Because we weren't able to get anything from them. Uh, the same amount we were able to pick here, like we got feathers and stuff we're going to be able to pick up as we progress. So let's open this up here. We got ourselves a blueprint. Resources here. We need to craft a backpack. The first thing we need to craft up is this. We also found flint. Or we had flint. We're just going to hold down F. Perfect. All right. So we got ourselves a primitive axe. That's good. Gathering lumber. This is a primitive axe. It can take down trees and get lumber. Equip your primitive axe. Chop down trees and gather some lumber. Wicked. All right. So let's go and chop down said tree. And again, we best thing to do is get all that stuff. Oh, axe increase to two now. Wicked. Oh, good. I like that one. We can just walk over it. <laughs> I'm having to smash out the stuff here. Okay, so we need to gather some rocks, a primitive uh, pickaxe. Perfect. We will try and do so. Open this up here, and we're going to go make this, which is need uh, one lumber and one hard antler. Do we have one of those? I guess. I guess we did. Perfect. Well, we got lucky on that one. So we have a second now. We can hit the zip. Let's actually rotate this a tiny bit so we can see what the heck we're doing. We got critical hits there. Uh, I like that we could click and hold it too. Very nice. I'm not sure what all the stuff fell out there, but it's perfect. We're going to gather us all some more here. Yeah, I know I need to talk to you, but I'm just going to gather it up because I'm going to want this. Pretty sure we're going to need this. 
Now we have to watch out on the bottom right. We do have, it looks like they're all like stop right now during this. Uh, but we have thirst here. We have, of course, hunger. We have sanity Ooh. and fatigue. So some stuff here has changed quite a bit, plus our health, which is right here. All right, so wrecking squad. So we think uh, get plant fibers, craft a hammer, take down Joanne's old house. All right, so that is cool. I mean, it looks like it needs to be taken down, that's for sure. If I remember correctly, those are plant fibers right here. We can take those down. And we have to make ourselves an act. Uh, sorry, a hammer, so we can do this. Perfect. Nice. Click and hold, and we're in good shape. Uh, yeah, I didn't research the pine tree. So I don't know if we can hold off. It looks like it, it was. When I was staring at it, it says search pine tree, and it was like a timer on it. Maybe it does come back. But I know we're going to need tons of wood. If we're going to be able to building her stuff, that's going to be super important. We also got some lumber and branches on that. Okay. So we should be okay to that. Let's make ourselves a hammer. I don't know if I can just check this out here. See for crafting? No. All right, so I didn't see what she is to get in this, but tab brings you into here, so it's not a big problem. Let's craft up the hammer. You can press F or hold down on it. Excellent. New blueprint. Adjust the structure with a hammer. Use the hammer after pre existing buildings or ones built yourself. You will get back to some resources. Awesome. All right, let's whip up the hammer and tear this down. We got lumber, plant fiber, and other things. Pretty good. There's a lot of other things here, too. Can I take this down with the uh, axe? We need to make a craft a workbench. Yeah, I'm just going to get ahead of myself a little bit here. I want to see if we can take this down. No. Pick up. What's this? Just logs? Fire? The lumber. Wow. All right. Didn't expect that. So we actually got a couple of lumber here, which will kind of help us out. Especially we're building up a big place. I'm not sure why we're building her new house, but again, it's not our house, so that we're staying in. We're supposedly just staying at a, a village here, lumber camp, so we'll see whether or not in the future this is good. I just don't know why we can't grab this. Feels like we should be able to chop that down in pieces and grab it. Uh, we'll search this anyways. Might not chop it down, but I just might grab all the stuff we can. Can I click and hold this? Oh, it chops down, okay. I was wondering if it's like the menu of crafting. It isn't. All right, we'll grab ourselves some more fiber too. Axe is going up nicely. Just makes it a little bit easier for us, I guess, to build. There's definitely a guy on the ground here. We should, are we not supposed to take care of this guy? Or is he dead? Maybe he's dead. Okay, so yeah, we need to make ourselves a workbench. And we'll craft one of those. Okay. And I guess we'll put this here for now. Can I put it inside? No, it's not letting me put it inside at all. All right, we'll put this here for now. All right, uh, interact with the workbench. With the workbench, you can craft, build parts, create shelters, and craft stations to refine your resources. Both useful and decorative furniture. Upgrade your workbench enables additional crafting recipes, but requires certain materials. Not a problemo. All right, cleaned up the mess of meteorites and crafted. Okay, we need to four foundations. Okay, let's make those. Okay, hold on to all four of those. They stack. Perfect. Okay, we got that. Well, I guess I'm going to use the space that was here. All right, let's put it down. You can adjust the height too if you want to. And if with the rain and stuff and mud, I probably would want it a little higher off the ground, right? I'm just thinking. Maybe I'm wrong. Hope I can make stairs. Build a new house with walls and roof. Gotcha. Now we need to make that. So let's get back to this thing. And we need a door. At least a window. All right, let's just see what we have. OK, 
Okay. It does make a difference. Society plays the song, which is fantastic. I'd like to have that there. Get a little cross breeze sometimes. Always good to have. Yeah, I need a few more here. Nice and smooth, too. I like the way everything's building up here. All right, let's press this and grab ourselves two more of those. Oh, out of lumber. Out of said lumber. So let's see here. Let's search this out. This tree looks like it's dead anyways. Okay, whip out our axe. Perfect. Timber. Okay. Jeez. Are you going to help out at all? Just saying. Okay, now we already have one. So we have two total. That's perfect. Probably should have chopped down a tree. Hopefully it doesn't damage anything. We're going to need more anyways, so I'm probably going to have to search this one out. Now, I remember this. I'm not sure if that's changed or not. But I need, you need to search them out before you actually chop them because we did that in the previous versions. And we had tested out, and unfortunately, yeah, you do not get back to stuff. Especially feathers. You get like a branch or something, but that's about all you get from a drops, like this drop here. So it's not much more. Okay. What is she crouching for? Did I put her in crouching mode? No. She's just getting ready. Okay, so we need to craft ourselves a roof. And these ones are filled up too, which is really nice. Might need actually another one. Yeah, need another one of those. We have enough plant fiber, thankfully enough. Let's put this up to double check. Yeah, it is the way it's supposed to be. Fantastic. So let's rotate this. Okay, one more to go. All right, so that should be it. Luckily enough, like you said, during the tutorial, everything that seems to be going down right now is my how tired I am. So that's okay. Let's craft this up here. And get ourselves out and check out to see if we can get this all completed. Bam! Got you a house. You're welcome. Yeah, it does look great. Did you do anything at all during this whole time? Nothing, eh? It requires immediate attention. I just realized a personal... You just realized it, really? All right, so she told me to go look for a bandage inside the old sawmill, which is right here. It looks like this person is down. Sprinting is stamina. Shift to sprint. Logically perfect. So we can do that if we want to. Oh, there's some stairs right over here. Let's go and do this. And look inside the house. All right, search so a barrel here. We got that. What else we have here? We got ourselves in the book, folks. Korean might pay a decent price for this. All right, some monies. Oh, that's nice. Some currency and stuff. We might be able to sell off some stuff here. We also have a skull. Somebody might pay a decent... Really? That's kind of a weird thing to have in there. Uh, collection, good price for it. Everything's about a good price. That's okay. That's good. So anything else here? Pick up. What did I just pick up? Old candle holder. Uh, shelf. Oh, okay. Some more books. Oh, we really need to look around this place. I kind of like to be able to like right click on the mouse and turn the uh, camera around. That's one thing that's, you know, like, oh my God, how many books? Well, the learneth people, they're good. And I guess I have to help this thing out. He's dead, man. It looks like it's blood spewing out of him. There we go. We're all good. You don't look good, dude. He's turned to one of those things. You know about these things? Be careful. They are extremely aggressive. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to help this person out very, very fast. I'm going to try and get a good... Uh... There we go. Let's move this around here. Get my axe going. Ow! Who needs a bandage now? Holy moly. All right. I guess we're going to loot this thing up. Stand up. We got ourselves a new blueprint bone axe and picked up something else. I didn't see what it was. I think it held a smoke of meteorite and are turning into those, okay, monstrosities. It's horrible. You look pale. Are you okay? Uh, could be better. Yeah, I'd be okay. Just a little hungry from all the fighting. That's good. 
some food in the surroundings hunters rest always have berry bushes plenty as well why don't you use them in a map snacks so this is where i think we're gonna end up doing the if i get the map that's good don't starve okay place the planes world peace this is where the fun part starts in this game so open up to sea and we can make ourselves one of these and we'll research some of these two later i think it's in a cartographer table and we'll be able to make our way through and we'll also have different towns and stuff and different places we can go and visit for now we're going to place this down here and we can actually see new world pieces the world above snakes consists of world pieces each piece has its own biome and contains various resources some of the world pieces are unique while others are appear multiple times which is all good because they're forests right that's what we want to see boom i like that idea quite a bit actually this is very cool i should search this out in case i had to chop it down all right scouting out for some stuff here oh this is new create more world pieces you need to scout out surrounding first your scouting progress is shown on the bottom of the screen okay like this right here in that tile perfect now you can stack up uh, scouting three world pieces but uh, scouting takes longer the more pieces you hold all right there's some berries right here now I can zoom out if I want to. I just know a lot of people watch them on their phones and stuff. So I'm going to try and keep as close as possible for y'all. You need, uh, okay, the bottom interface. Okay, you can find, you need thirst, hunger, fatigue, sanity, and health. They decrease over time and more. Okay, perfect. Yeah, get that. Let's just collect a whole bunch of this. Oh yeah, look at that. It actually is going up right here. So once we complete that, I guess we could put another world piece down, which is important. Huckleberries. I don't know if I've ever eaten a huckleberry before. No, I don't think so. They taste good. I mean, I've heard people have been saying huckleberry pies, and I don't think I ever had one. I'm not sure if this stuff goes bad after a while. Eat some berries. Yeah, we're going to eat some. Just gonna grab a couple since we're gonna also complete our scouting on the right hand side and also gonna need some plant fibers and stuff perfect does this continue going up oh it does so it does make a difference how which map you're on i thought it was like each one that we have to kind of go to and do that we're gonna grab ourselves some fibers here i'm not exactly sure if this stuff comes back or not i do like i just click anywhere and then the axle just kind of pop back out Okay, so she leads forward with the axe. Gotcha. Okay, we're not going to break those. Uh, should we search out some more of this? Not exactly sure how much I can carry on me, too. I should probably check this out. It looks like rain, it says on the forecast on the top left. Let's just do a little search here. Not sure if we need more wood right now to worry about. We might find some stuff on the ground here. These are all super important stuff we're going to need. Let's just eat it up and see what's next here. That's five. Perfect. Oh, looks like it's going to... That was change. Oh, time of day now. I guess we're out of the... Uh, the safety zone. Where we didn't have to worry about too much. Looks like nightfall is on its way. Return to Joanne. All right, Joanne. Just need to make sure I have enough food because it looks like... We have three people of fever right now, and they're not doing anything else, so. Probably want to make sure help. No, is this uh No, no, don't hit the... I want to know if these are cotton. Look like it might be cotton. Yeah, more huckleberries here. Perfect. Again, it is helping us out quite a bit. We probably could grab ourselves a bit of rock, too, while we're here. All right, I actually saw plant fiber grow back here, so this is good news. It's not like it's limited, so that is going to come back. So I'm just grabbing what I possibly can. I haven't chopped down any trees yet. We could do those if we need to afterwards. It's going to grab branches and stuff. That tree just came back, didn't it? That just came back. That is for freaking sure, which is great news. So that means I don't have to worry about it too, too much. I will grab maybe just another set of logs here and maybe just the last ply fiber on the right with a rock. We're definitely getting a lot better on resources and stuff here, but this is good. You do have to switch out between the pickaxe and the axe uh, if you're actually doing anything, so... If you have one in the hand, you have to make sure to swap back out. All right, we got to return to Joanne before I spend too much time doing this. 
because it gets a little addicting to actually just sit around here and do this. I am happy to see these trees come back, though. It looks like there's some saplings and stuff you see growing right here. And this is definitely not, this wasn't here beforehand. So this is good news. Look at that rock pile. Did I grab that rock pile? I'm pretty sure I grabbed that rock pile. That's the first one I did. So that might actually pop back in too. Where did Joanne go? That was a note right there with a knife in it. That's that's great. So she took off. She didn't even bother waiting for me. She told me to go off in a field so she could jump into a carriage and head off and with survivors and stuff. It was like Corpse Creek is now reported that meteorites falling down there too. Horrible. The plague is spreading. So that's that's nice. Thanks, thanks, Joanne. She's giving me my cab and I made her though. I mean, thanks. Uh, but most people survived the plague in Quartz Creek. Uh, here we go. I've heard that there's a camp nearby. Information and what happened. Okay, let's see what happens there. Make it your own. Hunter's Rest. Okay, left behind. And the survivors remains the house. Available resources. Okay, so take down the sawmill and take down the other house. Let's go and double check before we take these down. That we did a good job here. Is there anything else? Like, I don't think there's anything else in here. It looked like something, but it isn't. Oh, some foods, some cloth here. No, no, doesn't look like there's anything else. Okay, so we can take down this one, and we're gonna double check this one here too. I think I might pick this up though. Can I pick this up? No, that's fine. So I need to destroy this building. Enough is perfectly good. Okay, and this is our shelter currently. I think we built over there that shows up like that. Oh, it's a little warming. Nothing else around here. Boy, okay. Can we take out the uh, the stove? <laughs> kind of nice. So I wouldn't hate it. All right, let's whip out our uh, hammer and suppose we can go on top of this like we did the other one. There we go. Hold an F to take down. Wow. One plant fiber and two logs for all that? Jeez. Okay, can I move this? Oh, I have to remove the workbench. All right, for now, we're just going to leave it there. It's not a big, big deal. We need to move it out anyways. I don't think we even got into this place once, so yeah, let's escape out of this. Congratulations on making a shelter and find a hunter's rest. You can keep it or you can move to survival. You can take it down and build it elsewhere. All right. Oh, I didn't see what that was. Cartography, build a cartography table. I think I need to build myself some stairs. Is that something in this bench we can use? Yeah, log steps. Should I build like a little porch too so we can put the uh, table underneath? I don't know. And... Yeah, wait a second. I don't have posts and stuff, so I think I built that for nothing. Uh, definitely need ourselves one of these beds. Okay, we can put it down anyways. Get a little porch. Kind of nice if we had something. And what we have over here, these are log steps, so we can put that right here. Oh, you don't snap on. Okay. Adjust height. Did that work? It works perfect. Not much inside, though. I guess we have no choice but to hold off a little bit of that. We need to build a cartography table. I guess we're going to place that inside, too. I don't know if we can take apart certain parts of the building. Or do we need to... Yeah, okay, remove log walls so we can actually expand this back out if we want to a little bit further. But for now, we're just going to just test out what they want us to build. And the cartography table is right over here. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Right there. Cartography. It needs ink. Oh. Okay, huckleberry and feathers. That worked out good. We got the feathers from searching the trees into huckleberries. Okay. And then we can do the cartography table. Wicked. Boy, it's huge. You can put that on the porch. Oh, it's for now. It's fine. Let's just rotate this. Where did I put my window, by the way? Just out of curiosity, I can't see my window from here. 
on the back side. Where did I put it? Okay, so that's where I'll put the cartography table, just so it has some light for something for it in case I need it. Not sure if that's a thing or not, but we'll we'll see whether or not it is. Okay, rotate. Perfect. I think it's going to have to do. We can expand back afterwards. Okay, new world peace research poll. Uh, check the cartography table, Roger. And it needs rocks. Okay, and this is Plains Pine Forest. Four rocks to find out. Okay. Biomes, okay, and these are where you can put the tabs. Okay, we'll come across different biomes. You can place the biomes, whether okay, you want to. That's right, so we need, like, if we're going to a different kind of biome like this one right here, we're going to need to make sure we have something that interlinks with it. Okay, I remember that. I remember that. That tree just came back from nowhere. That's pretty cool. So let's put this down. I think we can put it down. Can we not? All right, let's press C. Okay, so we'll make that going towards that area. Boom! So pine forest, expand the shelter. Okay, uh, search nearby forest for more resources. Okay, I have rocks already, so that's good. Okay. And this one interlinks with this one, right? Yeah, it's see red, red. Yeah. Perfect, that works. All right, this is good. Actually, we also moved up on our skills too, which I think just increases how fast I can chop down trees now, which has been really good. All right, we have uh, this thing here is asking me to go and do that stuff here. We're just going to go back up here, find survivor camp. I'm trying to do that in a second. Four rocks, four lumber, and there we go. Now we have this one here, which we can put right next to us. Wow. Survivor camp was next to us all the time. That's great. Okay, so day one hunting. We haven't even checked out the other side. What does this woman do? Upgrade your workbench. Okay, upgrade workbench. You're able to build more complex things. Every uh, workbench levels require certain resources and upgrading it. Roger that. I need beeswax. All right, let's go and check out over there. The first one we put down. I'm doing our food and stuff. I, I think I might need a couple more of those little. I know I could cook in this game. Holy crap! I'm putting this away like crazy. Oh, look at there it is. Oh, there's a deer down here too. This isn't gonna be fun. Dusk. That's not good. What did I just get? I don't know if I picked up branch. Can I get the? Uh, bees by doing this? I don't remember that or I had to knock it down. I think I might have to knock this down. There's some zombies behind me. Okay, let's get the frig out of here. Yeah, I don't know. Stamina increase is fantastic. We're just gonna run back home because I didn't like to see what I just saw here. Build the campfire, upgrade your workbench. I think I'm going to build the campfire first. That's super important since it seems like the, that's the only thing that's going to keep me alive and kicking. And then we need to find and sell some more beeswax. We did get some honey and stuff, which is great. Okay, so can I put this on a porch at all? I cannot. I can put it right next to our, our deck that's going to be here soon. Okay, that's good. Set the campfire. Light with a branch, one branch. Okay, to add fuel. Oh, okay, you have to hold down on the F. Perfect. So R to cook. Skitter. Can I take this out? Uh, R. I don't know. I don't know what the recipes are going to be like. There is bones, though. We have a bone. Inedible. Okay. That's pretty messed up. With a bone marrow or something. Okay, let's just cook this up and get it done. I'm figuring we're going to get more bang for a buck for this. 
do blueprint a lock recipe book. I'm gonna make a couple of these. Okay, and then I guess we'll put some more fuel. I, did I make a bed? I don't think I made a friggin' bed. Oh, crap. Okay. Thank God I have all that stuff ready to go. I'm gonna check out our food and stuff, how it's going. Number nine to place down. Our bed, we're gonna place it right here. Perfect. And we can pretty much sleep at that. Did I make two beds by mistake or what? I guess I did. Guess I'm expecting company. I did make a bed. Shit. All right, open this up here. We have already one beeswax. And where's the consumables? There it is. So huckleberries give you five hunger, two thirst. Cooked five hunger, two thirst. 25 hunger bowl. Oh, this is not good. Cooked meal. We're okay on the rest of this here. Not much on thirst, those ones, that's for sure. Okay. If I'm going to grab anything to eat, I'm going to grab a seven. It looks like daylight's here, so that's fantastic. Can I turn this off or maybe not? Uh, let's open this up. Yeah, just cook it. We'll get some more of these. Okay. I wonder if I can make a chest afterwards or something. That'd be fantastic. Okay, so we got ourselves that. We got this. We're in good shape. We're going to go over here and check out the barrels and stuff and see if we got lucky another book. Maybe we can sell this off to these guys. Can't destroy these after I search them now. And we'll grab the huckleberries. I'm sure there's more ingredients and stuff. Upgrade your workbench. That's what they want me to do first. Should probably work on that. Like little butterflies and other birds and stuff flying around here. Not sure if that's leaves or not, but whatever. All right, so we need to upgrade this. We need beeswax. So I need to go back into that crazy forest we were in before. Yeah. Hopefully find some more bees. I'm not exactly sure how many are out there. If they spawn back, I'm hoping they do. Some mushrooms. Oh, shit. Oh, you hit me from a distance, too. A pretty good distance. I'm going to give me canned beans. All right, well, that's, that's something. We do have a deer right there. Probably better to... Can boil that? Okay. Probably good for cooking. Any more bees or anything here? Might have to go and place down another one of these tiles. And some rabbits this time. How hard it is to find those things. I mean, that's a lot of beeswax. Just need to cook up with these things here. Any more? Yeah, there's one here. Okay, this is actually hurting me, though. I have to be careful. How was my health, anyways? Looks like it's good. Stretch out the trees. Try to get the best angle possible. Uh. Right, I got one more. I just need one. We're good to go. So we can find at least one more hive. And like I said, I hope it comes back. Can I run after this? I don't think we could run after them. There's some more mushrooms, so I'm, I'm pretty sure you can make a good meal of that or learn a new recipe. Okay. All right. At least we have a map. I'm not sure if the deers are as scared as the, the rabbits are. Pretty sure they would be. Oh, <laughs> so devastating. Okay, skin. And gut. I got another hard antler. Hide. Okay. Do we hear more bees? 
thought I heard some buzzing, but I think I'm just hearing things. I want to hear it. Yeah, I think I just want to hear it. Okay, so that's a real shame. It looks like we might have to put another tile down to get another beehive. Can I afford it? I can. Maybe we'll just make it go here. We have another hive near somewhere. A Zombro. Yeah, there's one here. Okay, good. So then we can get that completed and upgraded. A roll from a strike. One second. Let's move up a little closer. All right. Actually, that worked out really good. Okay. My mental state's not great, but it's probably because I'm going after friggin' bees and doing crazy stuff like that. New world piece is ready. Fantastic. We're going to hold off a little bit. He saw what I did to the other deer. There we go. I swear to God, there better be a hot and some wax in there. There we go. All right, let's go back and see if we can get that completed. This is actually different, isn't it? This one. It's like, what is this? It's just a pine tree. It's dead. Okay. Search for water. Find a lake. Drink water. Yeah. Surprise! Okay. That that was a horrible surprise. Boy, it does not take very long to take down a deer, which is fan friggin' tastic. All right, so it's good. We actually went to talk to him. He told us he lost provisions and in a wagon, and we need to go and find it, help him out. He's too chicken to go back. So that's all good. We just still need to find a lake and other things. So let's go and check out to see if we can research a new areas here. Yes, we can. We need more rocks for this one. Plains and pines. Plains and lakes. I'd like to get that one first. Was this one? The prairies. I think that's where the guy is. This one needs to be swap over between both. Do I have enough to make this one? No, I need some rocks for this one. Uh, we happen to have a crap load of rocks outside, so all the time I was doing all that extra work end up uh, working out good for us. So You don't think you need it, but you just pick it up. And then, thankfully enough, the trees are growing back. Things are growing back, so really not a big worry about resources. Grab as much as you possibly can. Things will come back. All right, we'll put those tiles down. Okay. Then once that's open, I think it'll be a little easier. So, so we'll whip open the, uh, this area here. Would be nice if I can have a little lake nearby. Like that. Okay, let's go and do this. A new world piece. Cartographer. Perfect. Here we go. We can put another world piece. We do have some uh, kind of ores over here on the side. Yeah, it looks like possible fish. Scoop water. Okay. Drink water. Search for water. Yeah, just drank something, didn't I? Dirty water. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's dirty water. Perfect. Smart. Oh, it's two weeks, so we actually have to upgrade that. Okay, let's run back. Let's go and check out to see what we got here. We need to cook up some water. Okay, open this up. Perfect. So give me both of them for water. That's exactly what we wanted. Consumables. There we go. Drank said water. Find lost provisions still available for us to go and pick up. But we need tin to open up the rest of this. I think once we get to this guy here, we'll be able to get ourselves a little more world pieces and stuff. Uh, but we need to have something like the prairies, which now opens up that portion. Now we need to go back to cartography table again. 
Yeah, I needed more flint. Anyways, we're going to leave the episode here. If you guys want to see more of this, I would love to bring you more. I definitely want to see a lot more of this. And do roll pieces. We're going to find the cart to help out these guys over here. Yeah, if you guys want to see more, hit the like button. Get a comment. Feels. Love to hear back from y'all. And again, if you're brand new, subscribe. All the wonderful things. Thanks for being part of this. Thanks for being here every single day. And if, again, if you want to pick up for yourself, common keys. Oh, hey, that's good. Not sure if there's maybe something luckily around here we can actually pick up. This is nice. These guys are leaving the round. They're getting robbed by me. <laughs> oh, here's more bees. All right. And with some candles. So I guess we're going to need to make a crate too if we can. It'd be a little bit helpful. Anyways, thanks for being here. Thanks for being amazing. You guys are the best. This game edge. No catch, guys. On the flip side.